Hello and welcome to the next installment of the Hue video blog series. Today we'll be looking at HBase and how to create three distinct tables. We'll be using the new HBase application in Hue, which requires Hue 2.5 at least, but has been vastly improved in later versions. To get started, you'll need version 1 of the Thrift HBase service running, and also specify that in the Hue Ini. The first table will quantify the number of votes a candidate gets in an election by day. We'll call our HBase table votes and give a single column family day. Now we insert data into our table. We use the candidate's name as the row key and the contents of the cell will contain the count for the day. We've inserted data for two candidates. As you can see, the data can be sparse. You can inline edit the counts as well as delete cells in two clicks. We'll describe the search bar in detail in a follow-up video. For now though, we get the counts for Monday. Now we'll create a more interesting table with hundreds of columns. To make it easy, we clone a GitHub repository that has a script that allows us to generate lots of data. Then we upload the generated data into HDFS and inspect it. The data we've generated and uploaded into HDFS is actually analytics data for websites by day, hour, and total. As such, we create a table called Analytics in HBase. As you can see, it starts off empty. We use the HBase import TSV tool to fill up our table. Et voila! As we refresh the page, we can see the data in our table. For the third and final table, we'll load various types of data. We'll demonstrate how PDFs, pictures, and JSON can quickly be viewed in HBase. We then create a table called events and use the Hue HBase API to load various documents into the table. You can use the cell editor to edit your document or see multiple versions. The cell editor also enables quickly displaying various documents with different content types. And that's it. Now you have three tables in HBase to play with. We hope you love the HBase application as much as we do. Thank you for watching. See you at the next episode.